MIPSA denied, MIPSA also falsely stated, in addition, MIPSA omitted. Three times he lied to the FBI, yet you didn't charge him with the crime. You can't get into the evidentiary file. Yes, you can, because you filing. wrote about it. You gave us the answer. Page 192 of the report, you tell us who told him. Joseph Mifsud, director of the FBI, interviewed Joseph Mifsud on February 10th, 2017. In that interview, Mr. Mifsud lied. You point this out on page 193, volume one, Mifsud denied. Mifsud also falsely stated. In addition, Mifsud omitted. Three times he lied to the FBI, yet you didn't charge him with the crime. Excuse me, are, did you Why say not? one? I'm sorry, did you say 193? Volume one, 193. He lied three times, you pointed out in the report. Why didn't you charge him with the crime? Uh, I can't get into uh, internal deliberations with regard to who would or would not be. Uh, charge a lot uh, of other people for making false statements. Let's remember this. Let's remember this. In 2016, the FBI did something they probably haven't done before. They spied on two American citizens associated with a presidential campaign, George Papadopoulos and Carter Page. With Carter Page, they went to the FISA court. They used the now famous dossier as part of the reason they were able to get the warrant and spy on Carter Page for a better part of a year. With Mr. Papadopoulos, they didn't go to the court. They used human sources. All kinds of, from about the moment Papadopoulos joins the Trump campaign, you got all these people all around the world starting to swirl around him. Names like Halper, Downer, Mifsud, Thompson, meeting in Rome, London, all kinds of places. The FBI even sent even sent a lady posing as somebody else, went by the name Azra Turk, even dispatched her to London to spy on Mr. Papadopoulos. In one of these meetings, Mr. Papadopoulos is talking to a foreign diplomat, and he tells the diplomat, Russians have dirt on Clinton. That diplomat then contacts the FBI, and the FBI opens an investigation based on that fact. You point this out on page one of the report. July 31st, 2016, they open the investigation based on that piece of information. Diplomat tells Papadopoulos, Russians have dirt, excuse me, Papadopoulos tells the diplomat, Russians have dirt on Clinton. Diplomat tells the FBI, what I'm wondering is, who told Papadopoulos? How'd he find out? I can't get into the evidentiary file. Yes, you can, because you wrote about it. You gave us the answer. Page 192 of the report, you tell us who told him. Joseph Mifsud. Joseph Mifsud's a guy who told Papadopoulos, the mysterious professor who lives in Rome and London, works at teach in two different universities. This is the guy who told Papadopoulos. He's the guy who starts it all. And when the FBI interviews him, he lies three times. And yet you don't charge him with a crime. You charge Rick Gates for false statements. You charge Paul Manafort for false statements. You charge Michael Cohen with false statements. You charge Michael Flynn, a three-star general with false statements. But the guy who puts the country through this whole saga starts it all for three years we've lived this now. He lies, and you guys don't charge him. And I'm curious as to why. Well, we can't get into it, and, uh, and it's obvious, I think, that we can't get into charging decisions. When the FBI interviewed him in February, FBI interviews him in February, when the special counsel's office interviewed Mifsud, did he lie to you guys too? Can't get into that. Did you interview Mifsud? Can't get into that. Is Mifsud Western intelligence can't or Russian intelligence? Can't get into that. A lot of things you can't get into. What's interesting, you can charge 13 Russians no one's ever heard of, no one's ever seen, no one's ever going to hear of them, no one's ever going to see them. You can charge them. You can charge all kinds of people who are around the president with false statements. But the guy who launches every, the guy who puts this whole story in motion, you can't charge him. I think that's amazing. I'm not certain I, I, I'm not certain I uh, agree with your characterizations. Well, I'm reading from your report. Mifsud told Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos tells the diplomat. The diplomat tells the FBI. The FBI opens the investigation July 31st, 2016. And here we are three years later, July of 2019. The country's been put through this. And the central figure who launches it all lies to us. And you guys don't hunt him down and interview him again. And you don't charge him with a crime. Now, here's the good news. Here's the good news. The president was falsely accused of conspiracy. The FBI does a 10-month investigation, and James Comey, when we deposed him a year ago, told us at that point they had nothing. You do a 22-month investigation. At the end of that 22 months, you find no conspiracy. And what's the Democrats want to do? They want to keep investigating. They want to keep going. 
Maybe a better course of action, maybe a better course of action is to figure out how the false accusation started. Maybe it's to go back and actually figure out why Joseph Mipsud was lying to the FBI. And here's the good news. Here's the good news. That's exactly what Bill Barr is doing. And thank goodness for that. That's exactly what the Attorney General and John Durham are doing. They're going to find out why we went through this three-year th- three saga and get to the bottom of it. The time of the gentleman has expired. <laughs>